It's been 11 years since your debut record came out, Coco. Yeah, yeah. What's life been like since? I mean, I'm, it's changed a lot. It's for the changed better, a lot. Yeah? yeah, I mean, especially since like I started writing when I was 19, yeah. and then the whole MySpace thing happened, and then I went on my first tour, and it all just happened so fast. Yeah. And it's just been such an incredible journey, and now to where I'm at, um, I did the solo career for so long, and now I joined this band with my best friends, and it's yeah. it's just it's a really fun journey. I love, I that. love that MySpace was a big outlet for you to, with, with your success. <laughs> and you're like one of the OGs that like put their stuff out there on, on a social media outlet yeah. and, and got discovered pretty much. Well, what's crazy about it is I had just written these songs with my friend Jason and my, our, my other friend from high school put uh -huh. the songs up on MySpace, which I didn't even know what it was. Yeah. And because of that, I got offered a record deal and went on tour that next summer. Like, it was the amazing. That's pretty quick. Rolling. It just really happened so fast. It, I wasn't prepared for it at all. I had stage fright. Like, I didn't even know what to expect. Really? But I just, you know, I had this amazing opportunity and I had to just jump. Is it true that mm -hmm. piano lessons didn't necessarily take with you when you were younger and then you saw Sister Act 2 and you're like, oh, I'm going to take the piano now, I'm happy. Well, with Lauren Hill sang yeah. um, uh, Killing Me Softly. Yeah. She's the reason I wanted to start singing. And yeah, my parents, they knew I wanted to do music, but I, I was just so impatient with guitar lessons and piano lessons that I never focused on them enough. And so finally, when I was 19, I, I learned how to play guitar. I just learned four chords and wow. that's when I wrote my first song and then it was just a few months, like almost a year later when Jason Reeves moved into town and we started writing our, the album that we didn't know we were creating. So. Wonderful. You were recently back at American Idol to uh, yes. mentor some of the contestants? Yeah, Maddie well, Poppy, yes. who actually won American Idol. She's yes. so good. What was that like? It was amazing. It was, it was great to get to mentor her. She's so talented and just to give, you know, answer questions for her. And, and honestly, like full circle that I, I auditioned for American Idol with Bubbly when I had written yeah. it. I hadn't even finished the song yet. And um, they said no, I was too nervous and awkward. And, and then I got to perform it uh, this year. On, so great. It was just, it's cool. And you come from a musical family. I mean, your dad yeah. was one of the producers on a few Fleetwood Mac albums, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That had to be so it's cool incredible. to grow up around that. It was before I was born, but my dad still worked with them and still like remastered their records and everything. So um, to get to grow up around Fleetwood Mac and with their musical influence, that is the reason I, I created the music that I did. It's just that California bright acoustic sounds and um, they're the reason that I have the sound that I, that I make. What inspires you writing? Everyday life and, um, you know, relationships, love, mm -hmm. heartbreak, and especially with our band, um, it's, it's funny, we're, we're two happy couples, but yeah. a lot of the songs that we're writing are about heartbreak, and it's because um, we have a lot of friends around us that are going through heartbreak, and so... And you can pull you, inspiration yeah, from them. And, yeah, and send the message out to them what yeah. they would want to hear. Tell us about your band, Gone West. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> So, well, I guess I can talk when they come out more about like how we all met. They're coming but out. They're coming out here. They're right? here. They are. Let's bring them out, yeah. right? Y'all, please welcome Nelly, Justin, and Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We'll give you all air hugs, air high fives. Bye, hi. <laughs> you and you and Justin are engaged, correct? Yes. This is my fiance, Justin. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank That's, you. Wonderful. That's yeah. great. And Jason and Nelly, they're married. Oh, Y'all awesome. are already that's hitched. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Six and a half years in. So great. <laughs> so did you, you and you and Justin collaborated before you collaborated? <laughs> really? <laughs> Musically. Yes. Prior. Okay, so so here's how it started. Back in 2005, Jason moved out to California. Uh -huh. We wrote my album Coco. And then in 2007, I had to go on tour with the Goo Goo Dolls and Lifehouse, and wow. I put my band together. And Justin's a famous Hawaiian musician, so I was a fan of his music, and we had met recently in L.A. So he joined my band, and we got to tour together for years. And it took about two and a half years before we fell in love and started yeah. dating. And then while that was happening, Jason and Nelly were living in Nashville, and they met during a co-write, yeah. their first co-write in Nashville together. I was his first co-write here. Oh, love it first right. <laughs> <laughs> love it first oh, right. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And Justin, you're you're no joke. You're talking about Hawaii. You have like eleven number one singles, in like Hawaii in Hawaii or something like that. Like you're you're big yeah. stuff. I mean, it's not hard to be big stuff in Hawaii. It's a small <laughs> island, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for my Hawaiian music fans for sure. Yeah, awesome man. Really well, cool. Well, we're happy that y'all are here with us today. Thank you.